All right, for measurement and, uh, and uncertainty, let's go ahead and get to the actual lab. So I've got my lab procedure. I'm on page number four here, and I've got my handouts so I can write down my data. Um, and I'll go ahead and write my name on it. And it tells me some pictures that I'm going to have to take. But for now, it says, what item, kiss, Reese's cup, etc., are you using? Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in even before I do the procedure. So I am using uh, Hershey's milk chocolate. I guess the term I'm going to have to use is nuggets. Nuggets. All right. And it says place a clean, dry plastic beaker on the scale. Uh, well, you can turn it on. You don't have to actually, but um, wait for that little circle to appear before you do any measurements ever or change anything. So it's at zero. Turns out my beaker is 6.07 grams, but I'm going to hit the zero button, which is this button right here. Wait for that little circle to appear. And then place a item on the scale. Wait for it to settle. And then that little circle appears. Turns out my nugget is 10.39 grams. And I've just written, oh, can you see that? Good. 10.39 grams. You can see it changes to 10.40, and that's okay because there's error in the last digit, and that just showed up as an error of 0 0.01. It seems to be staying at 10.40 even longer, so I'm going to single cross out and write 10.40 grams there. And if it were to go back, I think I'd just leave it, but uh, it shouldn't be fluctuating much more than that. Uh, all right, so that's number one. Goes back to zero. Little dot appears. Put another one in. Sounds good. 10.29 grams. Make sure you've got your units. And make sure you're on the grams unit because you can be on other things. And you want to make sure you, whatever you do that you've got the right units. And you do want to record it in grams since gram is mass. And that's what we measure in chemistry and science. This one's 10.37. Oh, I forgot to mention, after your first one, take a picture. My camera is actually recording right now where I would take a picture. But take a picture so I can see whatever's on your scale and the scale itself and the measurements for at least the first one. All right, this one's 10.52. And you can see that in things, <laughs> there are variations between e every single one. This last one's 10.27 grams. Um, and that's mass measurements down to number five. We can go ahead and turn that off. For these, since they're wrapped, I can put them back in their container to eat later. And now let's do the average and standard deviation. And it says write unrounded number and mark sig figs on it. So we'll do that. I'm going to go back to my Excel spreadsheet. And this time I'm going to do it for uh, nuggets. And I'm going to have five values. 10.40 and the zero will disappear. Don't put units into Excel, please. 10.29, 10 10.37, 10.37, 10.52. One more time, 10.27. And now this time, this will be my average. And below it will be the standard deviation. 
and my average, remember, is equals AV, then it should appear. If not, you can type out average as well. Click and drag over all of your values. Close the parenthesis, hit enter. And equals STDEV. Oop, I forgot to write my equal sign. Equals STDEV. T. I don't think my computer likes doing Excel and recording on two screens at the same time, but we will get there. Uh, I put it in the wrong box, but uh, I can see that my formula is right here, so I'm actually going to cut and paste. Now it's in the right spot. So um, now I've got 10.37 and 0 0.9974969. So I'm just going to write them in the box with units in the box at least. So 0 0.0997. Four nine six nine. That's going to be plus or minus. And since I'm reporting them, ooh boy, since I'm reporting them to one sig fig, uh, let's go back to my page now. Since I'm reporting them to one sig fig, I've got a nine nine. So nine nine is actually going to round up. This actually rounds up to plus or minus zero point one zero and I apologize for this there we go um, grams and so my reported value which you will find a full discussion of in the introduction to this lab uh, it's a little small here so I'm gonna put it as down here 10.37 grams plus or minus oh well, we're not done yet either, 0 0.1 grams. And when I write that, right, I write my standard deviation to just the first that's the first significant figure. And, oh, and I should underline that, by the way. Hmm. This rounding thing is weird. I should only have one sig fig. When I get my one sig fig here, that's the one that I need. But I'm looking at my 10.37, and my 10.37 goes to the hundredths place, and my standard deviation goes to the tenths place. So I actually have to write my final answer, 10.4 grams plus or minus 0 0.1 gram for the average and standard deviation of my nuggets. And I can also write 10.4 gram, oh, I don't need the grams, plus or minus 0 0.1 gram. Those are either way, good ways of reporting this value here. And of course, your values will be different, but I at least have shown you a template of how to write this up.